The all new third generation Skoda Fabia is almost here in Australia. This one has come a little bit early, so what Skoda Australia has done is invited us for a bit of a sneak peek. Now this is a static walk around, so we're not here to drive the car. What we're gonna to do today is have a look at it, jump in the cabin, fiddle with some of the technology to see what it has to offer the small Australian car marketplace come August this year. So without further ado, let's check out the all new Skoda Fabia Monte Carlo Edition 150. The 2022 Skoda Fabia range is coming to Australia as one model, the Monte Carlo Edition 150. It comes fully loaded for 37,990 drive away, with the only options being self-parking assist for $1,000 and a few cost extra paints, being Phoenix Orange and Velvet Red for another 500 bucks. Although pricey, it comes absolutely stacked with equipment, including a fully digital cabin experience with a screen for the driver and a screen for the passenger, all the usual safety stuff like automatic braking, blind spot monitoring and lane keeping assist, and those usual simply clever Skoda touches like an umbrella in the driver's door, and plenty of unique quirky storage solutions. Now I know 37,990 sounds like a lot of money for a small car, but you have to assess the technology and features you get for the money. On the outside, some of my favourite things about this car include bi-LED headlights, that's high beam and low beam, sports suspension, 18 inch wheels, a wonderful contrasting black roof with metallic paint and plenty of black highlights, and finally some cool Monte Carlo badges to let your friends know that you bought the cool version. When assessing value for money with a new car, it's always worth looking at the powertrain alongside technology and features as well. Whereas the outgoing Skoda Fabia may do with a one litre three cylinder with about 80 kilowatt and 200 newton meters, this new 2022 Skoda Fabia Edition 150 gets a four cylinder 110 kilowatt engine with about 250 newton meters of torque. It's far more powerful than the outgoing car, which means it should feel like a far more mature package on the road. Something we're gonna find out in the next coming weeks when we get to test drive this car soon. Now we've had a look at the powertrain, some of the exterior features and what it looks like, let's jump inside the cabin to see what new technology there is on board. Jumping behind the wheel for the first time, I've got to say I'm really impressed with the overall quality, fit and finish of this cabin. We'll start with some of the materials. Up on this dash you've got this sort of faux carbon fibre trim, perforated plastic and wonderful metallic black plastic with ambient lighting too. A really diverse and great selection of materials that helps make the cabin feel high end and premium. Speaking of, these seats too are equally as fantastic integrated headrests, which means they look really cool, some speed stripes as well, but they're really comfortable, got great bolstering, and give the cabin a bit of an uplift as well. The rest is standard fare Skoda, heaps of storage spaces, bins in the doors, USB ports everywhere, wireless charging, a really convenient package, but this car's got a couple more extra technology points. A 10.25 inch digital instrument cluster and a 9.2 inch infotainment display with wireless Apple CarPlay for the first time in a Skoda Fabia. If you're worried about getting a bit short change with a small car and it's missing some features or missing some design elements, get that out of your head. It's really stylish in here and it's absolutely loaded with technology. Over in the second row, space is pretty good for the class of car. As you can see, my knees are clear of the seat back, my feet can kick out up front and my head is well clear of the headlining, so thumbs up all round. But park that boring stuff and let's have a look at some of the fun stuff here. We've got two rear air vents, two USB-C ports and this cool little center console that I'll show you now. Not only does it fold out to reveal a good room for the passenger, but also has a fold out cup holder. How cool is that? Skoda, simply clever at every touch point. Boot space starts from around 390 litres with all five seats in play. That's not all however, there are plenty of other cool features here. Storage nets, hooks, containers, plenty of ways to keep your groceries safe and stop your eggs falling out and cracking and ruining your pretty boot floor. But if that's not enough, you can also fold the second row 60-40 split to enable about 1190 litres of storage. I reckon you could just about get a small road bike in there, but I'm going to find that out when we test this car more thoroughly in the next coming months. As a parting gift, I'll leave you with this anecdote. The first new car I ever bought about six years ago was a Skoda Fabia RS, and I'm pretty sure I paid 10 grand less than this car. So trust me, when I saw 37,990, I had some sticker shock too. But honestly, having spent some time with the car, I've got to say it feels like fair value. The cabin is really spacious, the boot is large, fantastic powertrain under the bonnet, sport suspension, there's heaps going on here. But we can't assess it until we drive it. And we're going to be doing that soon in the next coming weeks. Until then, make sure you like and subscribe to drive.com.au to be kept up to date with the latest and greatest car reviews, including everything you need to know about the all new Skoda Fabia. Mm -hmm.